but they've got quite a test tonight, that 100% record under challenge because Tottenham Hotspur have made an outstanding start to the season, 10 points from four games, and they were top of the table until their fierce rivals at Arsenal won last night. Leading out the teams, New York firefighter John McCall. Fulham. Betting into life in their new home, very promisingly. And of course, the early start through the Inter Toto Cup has given them a competitive edge. Perhaps ahead of one or two of their rivals. In a motor. Hales. Shots on. Simon Davis. Sharing it. Another corner, off well, mate. I believe uh, we're here with uh, one that had a case. Let's see how well the assistant was placed. A goal! For Dean Richards, the height of Tottenham pays off. And now Fulham might debate even more whether or not it should have been a corner. Because Dean Richards rammed it in. And Jean Tigano at times has uh, complained about the physical nature of the Premiership his side have got to match Tottenham's strength as well as their skill here's Etherington Sheringham two minutes to go to half time it's 2-0 Tottenham and Fulham really fading away towards the end of this first half and Fulham go two goals adrift on a ground where they're defending a 100% record Team that he's got out there now haven't finished the first half as well as they started it. Spurs got to grips with what was required of them tonight, and Dean Richards headed in a corner, and then close to half time, Teddy Sheringham struck the second, and it continues to go swimmingly for Tottenham Hotspur at half time at Lo Loftus Road. It is Fulham nil, Spurs two. Here's Woma. Guard. Inamoto. Mount Bronk. Who's uh, coming from the left hand side. He is right footed. And he uh, is a goal threat. Normally uh, strikes them a bit better than that. Probably come a little bit early for him. And if they can uh, get the next goal in the game, Fulham. Or might not we lost, remember they were 2-0 down very late on at Middlesbrough earlier this season, they've got a draw Spurs just switched off for a second but they're on their game as Chimovic is on the ball Etherington Knights the defender with a problem Etherington <sighs> nicely rated ball by Inamoto Hales Davis with the drive well that's Fulham's best effort of the night and Casey Keller kept it out blistering shot and uh, the goalkeeper could have been overpowered he certainly wasn't in a moto and Keller's there again right then, Finn gets his cross in Hales! Oh, he got in behind Dean Richards as well there's more evidence of the greater flow to Fulham's football but in this predicament they've got to take a chance and more
Thatcher. Sean Davis. Oh, and uh, well, Enemoto's backing it up, and he scored! Oh, now it's very much game on here. That's no more than Fulham deserve. They have upped it in the second half. And the Japanese midfield player, a bit part player at best at Arsenal, is making himself centre stage here with Fulham to add to his Inter Toto Cup goals. Here's a goal in the Premiership for Junichi Inamoto. And it's Fulham 1, Tottenham 2. Hales. Oh, good bounce for Gardner. He's got a problem. Hales goes down. No, says Mark Halsey. And uh, a lot of uh, the players were wondering and waiting. And then the assistants got involved here as well. Mark Halsey has gone across to get a second opinion. <laughs> He's given the penalty. Well, an extraordinary episode. And it could stop Tottenham going back to the top of the table tonight. Malbronk. And Keller went the right way but couldn't keep it out, it's 2-2. And Fulham are out to show that they're not finished yet. Well, Tottenham might have their say about whether or not it should have been a penalty, but the fact is, they've been all over the place in these closing stages. Legwinski! And Tottenham are surely beaten. What a revival in the second half by Fulham. 2-0 down, but certainly not out. Spurs have been rent asunder by the skill and the will of Jean Tigana's team. Sava, Legwinski, goal! Fulham in front for the first time. Deep, deep into stoppage time. A sensational second half here. Well, they say it's their adopted home. It looks as though their 100% record as tenants at Loftus Road is going to stay intact. Who'd have bet on that at half time? They've won it! It's a glorious win for Fulham. Tottenham wonder how it got away. Malbronx. Penalty coolly put them level amidst the heat of the battle in the second half. Inamoto, of course, had skimmed in the first, and Sylvain Legwinski, who typified what Fulham had been all about in the second half, powered in for the third goal that incredibly means three points.